Namaste, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and I'm going to take you through a short morning yoga practice. This is suitable for all levels. You don't need any props and this will give you a great full body stretch. I'm in the mood to do some twists this morning, so that's what our practice will mainly focus on. Twists are a great way to compress and decompress through the abdomen. It helps to stimulate digestion and give a boost of energy. So we are going to begin sitting and try to bring your right shin in front of your left one. I'm just gonna turn, it'll be a little bit easier for you to see this way. And we'll begin by opening through the hips, through the low back. So just start to crawl your hands forward and see if you can fold on down. You'll begin to feel this stretch into your right hip and right glute. You might be up a little bit higher. If you can, you can always just fold down, stacking the palms. And try to relax your belly here. Soften your shoulders, your chest, your head. And you might use ujjayi breath, this ocean sounding breath that happens when we constrict slightly at the back of the throat, almost as if you were trying to fog up a mirror, but with your mouth closed. So an inhale and an exhale through the nose with a little bit of constriction. Three more breaths here in the pose. Mm, bring some weight back into your hands. Start to walk your palms in until you lift head and chest. Now you can bring your left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Find our first twist here as you roll your right shoulder back. Slide your shoulder blades down your spine and think of lengthening up. No slouching, no rounding. And pull your belly button back. This will help you twist even deeper. And let's release. Before we go to the other side, swing your right leg back behind you so that you have your right knee in line with your hip and your right shin is parallel to the longer edge of your mat. And now start to walk your hands back. So a variation of our deer pose. You're trying to roll and press that right hip down, stretching through the inner thigh. Really don't need to go too far back in this one. This is our chance to set the tone for our day. Take one more breath here. And lifting back up, we'll take one more seated twist on this side. You're going to cross your right foot over the top of your left thigh, really ground and anchor down through that foot. Keep hugging that knee in. As you inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, hook your elbow to the inner thigh. Right hand goes back once more and see if you can twist a little bit deeper the second time around. Again, really drawing in through your abdominals, pressing and hugging the belly button back towards your spine, finding a little bit more lift out of your low back. One more full deep breath and exhale to release. Switch the cross of your legs so that you now have your left shin in front of the right one and then walk your palms forward start to fold on down any amount that is suitable to you make this a little bit more passive so that you're not straining in your shoulders or in your arms just breathe into this stretch beginning to ask yourself what word captures 
your intention for the day. One more full deep breath. And walk your hands in, take your time. Our first twist, this time right hand moves to your left knee. Left fingertip supports you as you open through your chest. Notice what happens in your pelvis here when you twist. Sometimes we kind of push the lower belly out, try to anchor the tailbone down to the mat. Find a nice lift. Keep pulling that left shoulder back a little bit more. And facing forward, we'll find that modified deer pose. You can bring that left knee and left leg back behind you. So my left knee is in line with my hip. My shin is aligned to the longer edge of my mat. And as I'm pressing and rotating that left hip down, I'm just walking my hands back a little bit. And I find that the further I slide my knee, back towards the back of my mat, the deeper I feel this through the inner thighs. And just try to melt and relax in the pose. Feel your breath go all the way down to your low belly. And walk your hands in. One last seated twist before we start to flow. So you're going to cross your left foot over the top of your right knee. So variation of Matsyandrasana pose. Inhale, right arm raises up. And then cross or hook your right elbow to the inner thigh crease. Just so you have a little bit of leverage, almost as if you're pushing your elbow into your thigh, feeling the thigh push back against your elbow. Lengthening up through the crown of your head. Big breath in here. And release, crossing at the ankles. Let's find our first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hands should be shoulder width distance apart, feet are hip width distance apart. And reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, open up your hip. Anjani Asana, low lunge. Step your right foot forward in between your palms. Back knee comes down to the floor. Squeeze into your glutes. Draw your navel in. Extend your arms up overhead. And we'll join our hands together at the front of the heart. Anjali Mudra. Start to twist over towards the right. And if you can, you're going to place your left elbow over the top of your right thigh as you press your hips forward and down. Try to bring your hands towards the center of your chest. So you're lifting your belly off of that front thigh. Maybe looking back and over your right shoulder. And looking down towards the mat, release your fingertips down towards the floor. Skandasana, this is a side lunge. So you can walk your hands towards the inside of that right foot and pivot over. So right knee is bent, left leg is straight, flex through that left foot, push into the feet to lift up and switch over to the other side, bending into your left knee, right leg is straight. Roll your shoulders back. Let's go all the way back forward once more. Rotate your palms into your easy twist. Left hand down, right arm up, stacking right shoulder over the left. Broaden through your chest. 
Let's bring the right hand down. Step the right foot back. Plank pose. Lower all the way to your belly. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And let's extend our left leg up. Bend your left knee, open up that hip. Anjani Asana, your low lunge. Left foot steps to the top of the mat, back knee comes down. Make sure you have your left knee stacked over your ankle as you push into the earth in order to lift up a little taller. Anjali Mudra, hands at your heart. So really make sure you're only twisting from the upper body. Your hips are still facing the front of your mat. If you'd like to go further, you're going to hook your right elbow to the top of that left knee. Notice if your knee is buckling in towards that big toe. Keep pushing out and really press your hands together. Try to lift your low belly off of that front thigh. And we'll go into Skandasana, look down to the floor, your side lunge. You can tuck and lift the back foot off the mat, roll onto your heel. So your left knee is bent, right leg is straight. Big stretch into the hamstrings and hips here. And now push into the feet in order to lift up, move to the other side. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight. Trying to keep your hips low. Go all the way forward to the top of the mat for your easy twist. Right hand is underneath your shoulder. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Plank pose. Chaturanga, lower all the way down. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Stretch it out. And let's bring our knees down to the floor. Parjva Balasana into our twist here. Right arm extends up to the sky. And then go ahead and thread it through, shoulder and ear down to the mat. I'm going to bring my left hand towards my low back, maybe reaching for that inner right thigh crease. You can always keep your left hand down on the mat. Lean your weight over onto your right thigh and right knee so you're not swaying your hips. Keep pushing into your right arm, down into the floor, stretching through your upper back. And release your left hand down to the mat, come all the way up, re-extend your right arm up to the sky. See if there's a bit more space. And second side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Ear and shoulder come down to the floor and choose if you want to keep your right hand pressing into the floor or you might reach your right arm towards your low back, holding on to that inner left thigh crease. Keep pushing into your left hand. And release your right hand down to the mat. Push into the earth to come up. Left arm rises. And left hand down. Go ahead and tuck your toes under. In your little toe squat, let your hips sit down on your heels. You might need to move your little toe out of the way here. Open up your elbows. Cactus shape with your arms as you broaden through your chest. And exhale, round and contract. Pull it in. Cat and cow from this pose. Inhale, open. And exhale, in. Last one, inhale, reach. And eagle arms, you're going to wrap your right arm under your left, binding once or twice. Keep your spine neutral here. Just draw the shoulders down. Keep your elbows up and move your hands away from your face. Really press your palms and your forearms together. Stretch through your upper back. And release, expand, and we'll go to the other side right away. Left arm under the right, spine is neutral, just lift it up tall, shoulders down, elbows up, hands moving away.
push into your palms as much as you can. And let's release, open it up. Point your toes back behind you, should feel good to release that. And now go ahead and sit on your heels, walk your hands back behind you, see if you can find your ankle stretch this time by floating and lifting your knees and your shins off the floor. And let's release, come to take a seat just as you were at the beginning of class. Join your palms together at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Take this moment to really connect with yourself. Noticing the changes that have occurred in your body from this short practice. Recall your one word And we'll set this intention together by chanting OM one time. We inhale to chant big breath in. OM. Namaste. Thank you so much yogis for doing this morning yoga practice with twists. I hope you feel a little bit more energized and ready for the day ahead. If you'd like to stay longer on your mat, I would recommend doing this short five minute meditation right here. Please subscribe and I hope to practice again with you tomorrow morning. Namaste.